Exercise 14. In this exercise, we take a look at the functionality in Pro Creo 2.0 when creating uh, simple cavities. In this case, uh, blow mold for a bottle. A bottle we completed in exercise 13, and we just go ahead and we bring it in here. Make sure that there's no, it's not shelled. It needs to be solid before you do this. And what you can see here is we develop um, two cavities and also two beryllium cores that are generally used with blow molds just for cooling areas where it gets a little bit hot. Anyhow, uh, we'll, when we finish we'll be able to explode it just like you see here and get it to collapse. Okay, let's begin. I'm going to start with a new assembly file here. I'm going to call this E14 mold and hit OK. I'll make sure it's an assembly file, by the way. Hit OK. We start off by going to Assemble. Find the E13 part that we worked on. Hit Open. Make sure you set it to default for the lock it into the origin of the assembly. Hit the green check mark to apply. Now we're going to go to create and we'll create a new part. This will be called E14 cab. E A. Hit OK. Copy from existing inch, par inch pounds part solid. Hit OK. Up here again for placement, make sure it's set to default. Hit the green check mark to apply. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and activate that cavity. Right click on it, activate. Now we're editing the cavity part. So we could begin by selecting a plane, which you might want to do over here on the tree filters. Click on the little wrench and hammer, click on tree filters. Turn on features just so you can see them. And if you don't have your planes on, you can turn them on if you like. In this case, it might be easier to see where you're working at. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and hit the little arrow to the left of the E14 cavity. Select the front plane and begin my sketch. I'm going to proceed with drawing a rectangle to completely envelop the model. In fact, I think I'm going to turn off my planes as they uh, might be causing more confusion than they're worth right now. Middle click a couple times. Set the parameters to 8 inches wide, 10.5 inches high, 4 inches centered by 1 inch off the base. OK. At this point, hit OK. Rotate it. Go to Extrude. Extrude it down. Depends on which, which half you want to make first. I'll make the, the back side first. And this is going to be 2 inches thick. I'm sorry. I did the wrong digit there. Oops. And I'm going to hit Apply. Now at this point, you have to activate the assembly. So right click on the assembly at the top and activate. Go to component, component operations. And what you're going to look for is the, uh, oh by the way, uh, with your model, before you do this you might want to make sure you go in and hide any surfaces or curves. As they do come up, you might have seen it in the earlier ver um, picture I showed you. They do have a tendency to carry over into the next part. And they're kind of hard to, hard to hide from that point. So they're actually easier to hide them while you have the bottle open by itself. So that might be something you want to do. Just right click on E13 part, open it up, hide the surfaces if they're showing up in other entities. Otherwise don't worry about it. It's okay. Uh, it will still be, it'll still work. It'll just look a little funny because you'll see those surfaces in the cavity of the core that you create. Okay, but we select cut out here. And so I want this part to be the part that we're going to cut something out from. Hit OK. And then select the bottle as the part to be removed. The reference as it's called. And hit OK. And done. And done. Now to verify it, you can just simply hide this E13 part. So if you right click on it, select hide, you can now see we have the cavity created. 
Now this cavity tool doesn't work really well with complex molds. Uh, you're better off actually maybe looking at the tool. They, they actually have a mold pro mold module which allows you to create molds much easier than this. But for like a, something like this, it, it actually doesn't work too bad. So anyway, yeah, there you can see a little line in the center that I didn't hide on the edge, but not a big deal. Okay, uh, if you have a big surface over the top, uh, it looks like the bottle's over the top still. It's simply because you neglected to hide that surface in your bottle that we used for an offset. Carries those things over. Okay, anyhow, at this point we want to make a beryllium insert that's going to go into this side. Uh, for heat dissipation. So I'm going to go to create and we'll go ahead and call it E14 insert A. Hit OK. Hit OK. Make sure you align it with default. Hit apply. And now you can start a sketch right on this surface here. What I'd recommend doing, because you need to find a reference, go over here to the uh, References tool and just select the top edge as a reference. This way, we can now go to Rectangle, at least we can lock into that top edge, click and drag out our size of the insert we want. We'll go ahead and make it 5 inches wide by 2.5 inches high, and then we'll make it 2.5 centered. Now we'll go ahead and hit OK. We'll go to, oh, in, th in this case, I made a mistake. I forgot to actually edit the part. In this case, the, the sketch is floating inside the assembly, not associated with the part. So I'm going to click on that and just hit Delete. Let's try that again. This is the right way to do it. Sorry about that. I led you down the wrong path. Right click on E14, activate it so you get the little green star in the bottom right corner. Now we could proceed by going to Sketch, select the face, start Sketch, go to the References, select the top edge, and close your rectangle again, put in the parameters, 2.5 by 5 by 2.5, which is a little closer, and now I can hit OK, and now you see you'll have Extrude. That was because I did not activate the insert. Go to extrude, flip it down, or type in minus 1.5, but in this case since I flipped it down I was able to just type in a positive 1.5. Apply, and now we can see it there. Okay, at this point um, we just want to change the color a little bit because gray and gray is kind of hard to see, and besides it is beryllium, which is kind of uh, looks like a bronzish color, it has bronze in it. So we'll go to view, appearance gallery, and find the polished bronze. Down below here, make sure you set it to part. You can't see it because it's off the bottom of the screen. Sorry about that, but find part. So it's set the part for the filter. Select your part one time with the left mouse button, the middle click, and it should apply. Okay. At this point, let's go back and activate the assembly. So right click, activate. And we first want to remove this material from the block of uh, aluminum there that we have. So we'll go ahead and go to component, component operations, cut out, and then uh, go ahead and select the block of aluminum, hit OK. Then go ahead and select the bronze insert, hit OK. Now if you get a little error message, um, just double check down here, it looks good. We didn't have, um, didn't have any issues, but if there's a little red mark around there, there's actually a button you might have to press, and I'll show that to you in a second. But here you can see it removed the other material surrounding it. So let's now bring back the bottle because we need to remove it from there too. This is where I think you run into a little bit of a problem sometimes. Unhide the bottle just by right clicking on E13 part. Now go ahead and uh, make sure you go to component, component operations. Just remember, under E14, mold assembly has to be activated, so it's right-click beforehand. Component operations, cut out. This time, select the beryllium insert. Hit OK. Now select bottle. Hit OK. Hit done. And done. And if we get a little error message, 
um, you can see, hit the little arrow here, and you'll see that there's a little message there that came up. Let's go ahead and right click and edit that definition. And what you need to do is click on, on this button, Toggle Inheritance. Turn it on. That should correct it. There we go. So if you ever run into problems, just make sure Toggle Inheritance. And now if we hide the bottle, so right click on E13 and hide, we should see both have inherited the qualities of the bottle, subtracted that material away in a boolean of some sort. Okay, now it's just a matter of repeating those steps on the opposite side. So let's go ahead, we're going to uh, bring back the bottle. Uh, we'll leave it out. Okay, so uh, let's go to create. And we'll call this E14 cavity B side. Hit OK. OK. Make sure it's set to default. Hit apply. And we'll bring some of these up. So I'm working on the wrong one there. OK. Um, now for this, we'll go to component. Uh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Uh, let's go to E14 cavity. Activate it. Now we could go ahead and start a sketch right on the surface here of the mold. Hit sketch. Make sure you select references so you can capture those edges on all four sides of the block of aluminum. Now once those references are selected, go to rectangle and you can draw over the edges. We could use use as well, or project I should say now it's called. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Let's extrude it. Remember, if you don't see extrude, most likely the little green star in there where you have to activate it first and then draw the rectangle. Okay, make it two inches again. Apply. We'll flip it around here. Okay, let's unhide the bottle. And now we'll actually hide the cavity, the first one. Okay. Now we get a better picture here. Uh, just make sure you activate the E14 mold assembly. Go to component, component operations, cut out, select uh, block of material, hit OK, select the bottle, hit OK. Hit done, and done. Again, just to make sure you get the little arrow. If there's no little black X in a box, then you're in good shape. And if you want to verify, you can always hide the E13 part. Okay, now for the next entity. Let's actually um, we'll keep the beryllium core in place because we're going to use that same parameter to steal those edges. So let's go to uh, Let's go over here to create, and we'll call this the E14 um, core B. OK. Hit OK. Again, make sure it's set to default. Green check mark. And this time, we'll start a sketch on this face again. We could use project if we wanted to. Let's see, with that, we could just select the edges. Close. And now go ahead and hit OK. And again, I've done the same thing. And I apologize, I'm battling a little bit of a cold here. So um, bear with me. I just need to get this done. Let me go ahead and delete that again. I neglected to right click on the core and activate it. There we go. Now I could go ahead and start my sketch on the surface. Hit sketch. And again, we'll steal the edges using project. Should get that rectangle there. Close. OK. And extrude. Extrude it the opposite direction. 1.5. So it's cutting into the part, or extruding into the part, not cutting. Okay, again, you might want to change the color there. So if you go to View, Appearance, Cal uh, Appearance Gallery, go ahead and select Bronze, Part, 
and then select that part. Middle click to apply it. All right, and let's activate the E14 mold. If we go back to component, component operations, let's select the beryllium insert. So the E14 core, uh, actually cut out. Oops, did I? Let's select the E14 core again, just to make sure I'm jumping ahead of myself there. Then go ahead and select the bottle. Hit OK. Done. Done. Let's verify that there's no error. And there it is. We've got an error again. So again, you get that right click, edit the definition, and make sure you select this little button up here, toggle on here. That usually clears it up. And if we want to verify that, you could hide the insert at the top here. And um, unfortunately, oh, we'll hide the bottle too. Should be able to see an outline at least. Sure enough, there is outline. Actually, we don't need the bottle at this point. We just want to remove the intersection of the aluminum block there. So again, just make sure we're we'll regenerate here. Just be on the safe side. Go to component, component operations, cut out uh, the aluminum block this time. OK, and then select the beryllium insert, which would be the E14 core. Hit OK. Hit done and done. And this time we didn't have to select inheritance, it came out okay. Alright, so let's bring them all back and actually let's uh, unhide this. Okay, now that we have all the components, we could go to the uh, Explode, which right over here, at a position. Select this part here, grab the little blue handle, drag it out. Grab the beryllium insert, drag that out a little bit. You'll see that some of the curves that it says I didn't hide them do show back up. At least the surfaces aren't there. But there you go. There's the two cavities and the two inserts. Let's just go ahead and collapse it. We'll take a picture of it. Click on View Manager. Explode. Edit. And save. OK. Update default. Close. And now we could go ahead and uh, turn, edit that. OK. And that concludes exercise 14.